hello guys welcome back uh, in this today session we'll see how to import the docker images to gns3 right so for uh, that you need to make one setting so let me open my vm bay so in my case gns3 is working on my vm bay workstation so what is the setting that you have to do is this is the gns3 vm right so here uh, fine let me just click on the gns3 vm so if you are going into the setting so it should be enabled with the NAT right adapter should be enabled with the NAT network address translator then only you can able to connect to the internet that one point you have to remember then one more thing just I am opening the my GNS3 now I am going to import the Docker images to into my GNS3 workplace right so if you want to import this right so images so we have the site Docker dot site name is hub.docker.com right so for example if i want to search i want to uh, i require something ubuntu operating system right so here these are the right different different types of the images suppose if you want to download this one just click on this one now if you see that this is the different type of versions right 20.04 right this this we have the different different variations Suppose for example, if you want to by default, it will it will be uh, tags will be something like latest, whichever is the latest version that you can download. But if you want to find out the particular old versions, then you can use along with the tag, right? So here in my case, I'm going to download the Ubuntu. Just I'm going to copy this, right? Now I'm going back to my GNS3. Here, what you have to do is in order to add that, just click on new template. We'll create manually right manually create a new template once it is done click on next so here if you scroll down you will be seeing docker containers right so our intention is that we are going to add the new container right click on new obviously i am working with vmware workstation right so run this docker container on the gns3 vm right let it be gns3 vm right it is recommended now for example this is the my existing image now what I'm trying to do is I'm going to create the new image, right? So the moment I give this name Ubuntu, now what will be happen here is from my GNS3, it will directly go to hub.docker.com. So you will be finding the image name with Ubuntu. This will automatically will be downloaded into your GNS3 simulator workspace, right? So that is going to happen, right? So once once it is done, just click on next. Whatever the name you want to give it, you can give it. So if you have a number of adapter 1, 2, 3, something like that, you can give it. So start command is not required. So if you want to GUI means just click on VNC. But then these are not required. Just click on finish. Once it is done, click on apply. Then OK. Now if you see that here we have added the new template. So what is that? GNS3, right? Sorry, we have to add the new template. Ubuntu right so this one so we will try to drag into the workspace now see that pulling Ubuntu latest from the Docker hub it means that it is going to download see if you see that so everything is being downloading right if you see that we just check it down so see that so what is the total size it is something around 29.54 MB right so like that we can pull the any kind of image from the Docker hub so whenever you are going to perform any kind of activity Either in maybe network implementation or you want to perform some cyber security related operations, right? Instead of downloading, so if you see that this is my VMware workstation, right? This is my VM works, VMware workstation, right? If you see that I have installed the Kali Linux mission, right? So see that how much space it, it consumes 2.3 GB. I have assigned two processor, right? Some hardware I assigned. But if you see that what is the maximum size of this Ubuntu is just 25 MB. It means that you cannot you cannot able to get the all the software, but required thing you can able to get right. For example, if you want to check for start this one, right? So now we can observe that Ubuntu is started. Then click on console, right? So now console will be open so that you can perform the like Ubuntu operations, whatever you want to perform. You can create right. You can install the server can create the file you can move the file you can copy the file so it almost work as the ubuntu operating system 
right so after some time it will be loaded so you can work as the ubuntu operating system so this is how we can able to download any kind of image in image into gns3 workspace right so just click and go to hub.docker.com so whatever the image you want suppose for example some as senior is tool is there right by using this we can able to perform the almost all layer to attack right so for that you just click on this one right so you see that this is one kind of tool we have right you just download this operating system right image means it is consist of the operating system which is ready to run right so just to copy this one right go to gns3 then create new template so that you will be getting the one more operating system. It means that you don't require to install the entire operating system. If you see that it is only 25 MB something around, right? So this is how you can able to download the right images from the Docker Hub to your GNSC workplace so that these can be used in your real time scenarios, whether you are going to perform uh, network kind of attacks. So like that you can able to do it, right? For that you don't require separate virtual machines to be created. In the GNS3 workspace itself, we can perform the all these operations right thank you guys